Well, everyone was after an update on my 80 series. The 97 factory turbo, 40th anniversary. I like to say that because there's not too many factory turbo diesel 40th anniversaries around, but I got one. It's an absolute ripper. You might remember the video I did a few months ago saying that it was gonna go into the shop and, and get a nice uh, mild build. Because I'm gonna use this um, a lot on the highway, travelling, towing, camper trails, caravans, a bit of beach work, and nothing too outrageous. So most of the time it's gonna be on the road. I'm so excited to be sitting in the driver's seat now and have 60% more power at leaner fuel mixtures. NPC, uh, clutch, and new billet flywheel, front mount air to air intercooler, the full three inch mandrel bent Roo uh, 409 exhaust system with an extra resonator at the back because I'm an old man now and I like nice quiet cars, those long hauls. And obviously the guys did some pump timing and a bit of tuning on the dyno. Effortless acceleration. I'm sitting at 50 in now, it's just sitting on 90 and it just put your foot down, it just pulls. The factory mags, I, I sent them off and we had them polished and repainted. Got the brand new uh, from Toyota the center caps. All the 40th anniversary stuff, the 40th anniversary stickers are put back on them. On the uh, rear quarters and the tailgates. The Cooper ST Max tyres, I love these tyres, they're fantastic on the road and great ability off the road as well. They're not the noisy tyre but they just, just smooth and quiet. Baja Designs, uh, 55 watt HID La Paz, I had lying around the shop from my white 80 series, a lot of people would remember that. So I run a diesel fuel manager, it's just a, a pre-filter. Um, it's not as fine as the factory one. The factory one does a beautiful job, but what I want to do is, is we want to put a, a filter before that, catch, put it in perspective, to catch the rocks. The, uh, the factory filter will, will filter out the sand and the fine particles, but we want to stop the water and the bigger stuff before it actually gets to the factory filter, which will cause you an issue. An oil catch can too. Diesel, diesel engines like to breathe, and there's carbon, there's oil, there's residue that, that recirculates through to the intake and it actually blocks up intake manifolds and what we've all heard about it, we've all seen it. Uh, so we run a, uh, we designed an oil catch can with a, a proper oil separator. Now it was hard for me to, to get the boys to cut the hole in the guard for the snorkel. You know, that, because everything else is bolted on. That, that's a, <laughs> that's a fiction now. Yeah? but they have to have this sort of nice, clean, cool air. So that's fitted to this as well. I've got a dual battery system, got the angle 60 litre on the back. It'll have cold beer in it, of course. This is my 40th anniversary, 1997, factory turbo, multi-valve, 80 series. I love it.